Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to another episode of my D&D Top 3 5e. E. And today, we are going to be doing the strongest, best, most powerful classes in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Player's Handbook 2 and the Expanded Psionics Handbook. So, we're only going to be looking at classes from those two books today. Um... So that said, let's get started with it. So first off, at number three, we have the Wilder. Uh, now the Wilder is a very powerful psionic uh, casting class. Um, it was a little bit of a close one. I almost put them at number two, but um, the fact that they are so limited in um, their uh, powers known, uh, that like the number of them that they can have, uh, it's really restricting, especially for new players. If they don't pick the right powers, they're going to be underpowered. You really, really got to pick the right ones because you only get one power per level for the most part. Um, there's some exceptions that first and ninth level, I think you get like two, but still, um, for the most part, you're going to have like one power per uh, power level. So... That, that's why it's got to be number three. Uh, still a very, very powerful um, uh, uh, class. So number two. This one was, again, almost number three. And that is the Beguiler. Um, now the Beguiler, um, it is quite potent. You have a much broader option of uh, spells known. Um, now you don't have a lot of ones that pack a lot of punch. But you have ones that do uh, give a lot of um, versatility. Um, like you have so much stuff with uh, stealth, um, uh, with deception, with mind affecting effects. You have a lot of really powerful ones that are really good at uh, messing with information. So definitely had to put that at number two. Plus on top of that, um, they do fill the role of the rogue in the party. Um, so if you were making a party of all casters, um, this would be the way to do it because you need somebody who can find traps and these guys are just as good at that much as the rogues, although they don't get snake attack. But at the part that you really need a rogue for, they're just good at that. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's number two. Now, number one, we have the Scion. Now the Scion, uh, very good uh, manifesting class, uh, has a pretty solid number of powers known. A uh, good decent number of power points. Like it, it's basically the same as the Wilder on that one. Um, it's just a really solid manifesting class. Uh, it's kind of the go-to base uh, manifesting class. So yeah, it's just it's just really good. Lots of really powerful powers that they have access to. Um, plus they get to pick disciplines and uh, they get to use powers from them, uh, which those discipline powers tend to be some of the more powerful ones. So yeah. Uh, Scion, definitely number one. Uh, finally, at number 3.5, we have the Psychic Warrior. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 content. Ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. And anyways, as oh, also, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you, think, uh, your, uh, what you think of this list and what you would put as your top 3.5. But anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.